Hi everybody, my name is Elliot. I'm a podiatrist here at East Coast Podiatry Singapore and today I'm going to be talking to you about posterior tibialis tendon dysfunction, otherwise known as PTTD. PTTD is a dysfunction of a tendon, and as we know, muscles attach to tendons and tendons attach to bone. So the muscle involved is a muscle called the posterior tibialis. And the posterior tibialis originates from back of the uh, calf around the medial aspect. It runs around the ankle and inserts into the arch area here. This muscle is responsible for doing this to our foot. And as we go through the gait cycle, slowly putting us through uh, the pronation part. Now this muscle is very important in helping with shock absorption. If we've got a dysfunction, a weakness in that muscle, it will start to have an effect on the tendon. Why does the tendon become affected by the weakness of the muscle. Well, the example would be is if you've never been to the gym and you go in and you want to do bicep curls and you pick up an 18 kilogram dumbbell, the bicep is not strong enough to withstand that level of weight and you'll start to feel a lot more tension in the tendon and this is where injuries occur. Similar principle to what's going on with this condition. With this condition, we know that the muscle is weak and over time the tendon starts to become very thick, inflamed, very tender and it's just dysfunctional. So when a patient comes through my door, the first thing I ask them to do is remove their shoes and their socks and nine times out of 10, their foot looks like this, completely flat. An indication that the muscle is not working and the tendon is shot. I will run through a series of tests to check the strength of the muscle and I'll also go through a diagnostic ultrasound to look at the integrity of the tendon as well. PTTD is one of my favorite conditions to treat. The reason being because there's some real good results when it comes to this sort of condition with conservative uh, measures. When it comes to this condition, the usual protocol is using a therapy called shockwave to try and improve the integrity of the tendon and also bringing down symptoms and then using very special devices such as a ankle foot orthosis. This is the ankle foot orthotic. How it works is it stabilizes the ankle and throughout the gait cycle, it deloads that tendon that is under so much stress. So as the foot comes into contact with the ground, it can slowly decelerate that foot. Now, over the course of a few months, by wearing this device, the patients will often say they feel really comfortable and very little symptoms are ever felt. Uh, a little bit of background about this device. It was originally designed for NFL players in America and has now been slowly transitioned into everyday public. And now it's a very common mode of treatment how long will the patient need to stay in this device? It will depend on the severity of the condition. For some patients, they can be in it for 12 months. Some, it can be shorter than that. But what I always say is this is a device that you keep long term and you use when you're doing any physical activity. We will then go through a loading exercise program to keep that muscle nice and strong and keep pressure off that tendon. So guys, if you found that video helpful, please like and comment. And if you or anybody you know is suffering from this condition, please feel free to book yourself an appointment to see one of our podiatrists here at East Coast Podiatry Singapore so that we can evaluate and get you on track to being nice and happy. Okay guys, take care. For more information on related conditions, check out our other videos.